Bulgaria have been given one-time stadium ban and fined $83,000 of a racism. And uh, it's no news. Well, the Bulgarian national soccer team has been ordered by UEFA to play its next home game behind closed doors as punishment for the... Um, you know, the codes, the racists, and all the chance that you could say in that particular game, the Euro 2020 qualifier against England. The Bulgarian Football Union has also been fined 94,000 US dollars for uh, that particular behavior of its supporters and the throwing of objects and causing disturbances uh, during a national anthem. The fine was for the racist behavior. The disciplinary arm of European football governing body also ordered Bulgaria to play a second match behind closed doors. However, that punishment is suspended for a, um, a particular period, which is for two years. And this is one thing that has gotten people talking. So tongues are actually wagging right about now, Ini. And people are saying, uh, we think um, this particular sanction is not in accordance to what should have been done. Many were expecting more. Some were saying it's a bit too lenient, so to say. I find this decision laughable at best and diabolical at worst. And I mean, it's, I sit down, I'm thinking about what UEFA have done, and I'm thinking, are we really honest? Are we genuinely sincere about kicking racism out of the game? Mm -hmm. Someone is found culpable. Throwing objects. Obvious, obviously abusing players racially, and what you've done is find them 83,000 euros and one stadium ban. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's laughable. I don't think there's an honesty, and I've tweeted this many times. There's, there's a lack of honesty from the people who are screaming, let's kick it out, let's kick it. There's a lack of honesty. Because if UEFA are serious about kicking racism out of the game, mm -hmm. what I'm expecting UEFA to do is get more severe. How about you take three points of Bulgaria and they're qualifying? Wow. How about you kick them out of the competition? Now, if you want to do something, do it right. Mm. Because the Bulgarian um, Football Union are very comfortable. They'll give you 83,000 euros without thinking. And to play some one match stadium ban, that could, that could sound severe. But even if you want to close down a stadium, can it be three matches? Can it be four matches? One match? They said the other one is suspended for two years. It is embarrassing, Joe. Uh, I think you're far not being honest. I think UEFA not being open enough. I, don't, I think UEFA not showing enough steel in, in terms of just going out there and hitting people hard. Because, like I say, f um, racism is not a football problem. It's a societal problem. Now, but football has a very big role to play. You've got so much powers. You, you, can, you can affect the narrative mm -hmm. using football. And when things happen like this, someone has got to... To, to bear the brunt. Someone has got to take responsibility. Someone has got to, so what to be you, punished very so well. In, if I may ask, what would you have recommended that they um, face? What sanctions do you think? Would kick have been them out of the qualifying. And deduct three points, right? And deduct three. No, kick them out of the qualifying. Kick Completely. them out of the qualifying because you've got to show people that <laughs> if you do this, what the next person who does this gets kick, kicked out. And all of a sudden, the fans will be thinking, if I abuse a player racially, mm -hmm. I would be harming my country, so I wouldn't do it. So if it's got to be, fans shouldn't go to a football ground, think they can do anything and get away with it. They're not going to ask the fans to pay the 83,000 euros. The, no, they won't. The, the Bulgarian Football Union will pay the money. So, Joe, it's funny.